So, you guys should... We need to find somewhere else to do this. We should plan this out more in advance. Yeah, because you asked me this morning. first. Yeah. What? (laughs) (laughs) You didn't even stop it. (laughs) Welcome to Three Guys, Three Questions, where we're three guys and we ask three questions, and... We answer them, and hopefully our answers are interesting, and you watch it. <laughs> I guess if they hopefully. heard that right now, they're watching. Don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Okay, everybody stay still. We're buffering. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys, we're in a truck. <laughs> I'm in a truck. I'm in a truck, I'm on mofo. A truck. Mother trucker. <laughs> oh, man. We're in the bed of my truck. Let's get this episode started. I'll ask the first question. My question is, if you could teach a um, university course, in any university, um, what would you choose? You could choose anything. This isn't limited to like real classes you've taken. Any class you want to teach people. Uh, so what do you pick? Um, I found after throughout my life the best thing I'm at is napping <laughs> anywhere <laughs> at any time. So my class would be would consist of like a MacGyver esque way of finding ways to nap. Are you like <laughs> build a hammock out of duct tape or like a, a it, it, it would be like that in like yoga, like in weird positions, <laughs> napping in weird positions. Just this is how you nap if you're stuck in a cardboard box. <laughs> yeah, it's like those type of things. I think that'd be very fun and uh, rewarding. <laughs> that would be rewarding because your job is to just go take a nap. Or, well, I guess you probably spend most of the time talking about napping. That sucks. Well, for really the first tired. like five minutes <laughs> and then take like, a nap. Oh man, you guys are going to end this class early. So. I got to take a nap, guys. This, this talking that'd about be naps. like the worst class for me. <laughs> Joe, Joe, already, Joe. Joe takes napping in every single one of his classes. <laughs> We've had a lot of classes together, and every single time, we'll sit in the front row. I'm like, Joe, let's sit in the front row. We'll keep you awake because the professor's right there. Nope. And he just I always out. wake up, like, awkwardly with the professor, like. <laughs> and you're here alive. It's like you feel a feeling on your neck, like, why are you? Oh, I see if you're selling a pulse. It's like they're surprised I'm sleeping in the front row. They're and, like, hmm. And you always get better grades than me. <laughs> okay, if I could teach a class any at a university. I think it would be like a class how to teach guys not to be make girls creeped out. Like, really? Yeah. Is that one of those things where you're like want to learn yourself? Or? No. Because <laughs> I don't creep people out. Okay. Just. You know, no, Joe doesn't sometimes. <laughs> but, but like seriously, like some guys just don't get it. Like they chase and chase and chase and the girl's scared so she's really running for it's, her it, life and it's, not, it's not even literally <laughs> running it's not even really the chase it's like the way they chase it's with their arms in the air and not screaming with their hands in the air yeah. and they wave them like they just don't care yeah but they care oh, man. they care a lot <laughs> they wave them like they really care cause they're scared yeah that right <laughs> dude yes okay my class I'm teaching is MC in 108. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, you can't MC even take 101. You gotta, you gotta be at a certain level to get to my class on being an MC. On, uh, it, it's, it's split into two parts for semester. Is like a literal master of ceremonies, <laughs> where we learn how to introduce topics, and uh, introduce people, and start a. Cause that is half of a rap song as it is. It is. <laughs> you gotta start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it is. You can say like. You know, the guy's name who's singing the back. It's getting crazy though. Song. There's like 20 people on an album or a song. Featuring with featuring. <laughs> like, <laughs> also, he was on the corner. We picked him up. Remix. <laughs> <laughs> like every song, like <clears throat> just make a song. You know. Second half of the semester is obviously rapping <laughs> and a flowing and such business. Everyone has to come to class in a matching jogging suit. <laughs> matching like, jogging suit. Like from the eighties. Like and they DMC. have to wear a yeah, and they have to wear a bucket hat and a chain. Are you like gonna are you, cool chain? <laughs> are you gonna grade on the correct times on their clock watches? Like it's no, all five. They don't have the, the wait, 
wait. First of all, you said clock watches. Yeah, but you knew exactly <laughs> what I meant too. As opposed, so. <laughs> as opposed to what? <laughs> non clock watches. This watch just has a picture of a bird. Because birds soothe me. My question is, what's the worst job you've ever had, Joe? Worst job I've ever had. I think you should say that faster. Worst job you ever had, Joe. <laughs> Worst job I ever had was probably <clears throat> when I was when was I? I don't know, I was fifteen or sixteen and I worked at a hay yard. And That's bad. Hay yards during the summer was not fun. Because we had a black like parking lot and every day I had to go sweep it at like noon. So it's like hundred and twelve outside. Uh and like the black pavement makes it even worse. Yeah. And then you have to load hay and you get sweaty and like hay's just like sticking it's to your sticks whole to you. It's like body. caked onto you. Like I have pretty <laughs> pretty hairy arms and like my whole arm is just like covered <laughs> in hay. And like it's just it's it's ridiculous. Does it how like is, get moldy and smell bad too? <laughs> how is the, how is the itchiness? It's horrible. Because <laughs> that like, seems like it'd be an itchy, itchy job. I think it's like a step below hair. I've had, <laughs> shuffling. I've had itchy no, jobs. It's before. a step above hair. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's like I've had itchy jobs, but it's horrible, and you're just in the heat and sweating and loading hay, and then you stab yourself in the leg with a hay hook. Mine was uh, working at a. I will not name this place. <laughs> oh, I think I know what you're talking um, about. But I, I was a uh, assistant to the screen printer yeah, at yeah. a. a Screen printing, embroidery, t-shirt making shop. Is the place still Sweat exist? shop. Here's why this job sucks. <coughs> it was not very uh, consistent. Like one week I wouldn't work or I'd work one day. And then the next week would be like 12 hour days every day of the week. Like, which sucks. Yeah. And and uh, I earned minimum wage. And I remember one day I came in and they're like, Aaron, you've been, you've been doing pretty good. I worked for were like just like indigent and like just I don't know the the lady who was the head graphic designer for the business who would make the t-shirts design the t-shirts for clients that would come in she'd come downstairs because her office was upstairs and come down to me and my friend like who were making the t-shirts and she'd be like what colors do you mix together to get green again <laughs> <laughs> I just felt so dirty every time Half of the logos were in the logo Papyrus or Comic Sans. In the and, font? Yeah, and I'm like, man, standing in the same place for hours and coming home with my arms covered in paint and ink that I couldn't get off. And I looked like a, I was camouflaged for a, for a ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst job I ever had. Okay, um, the worst job I've ever had. The worst job I ever had wasn't my worst job experience. My worst job I ever had was digging ditches in like stone. But that's not very funny. So my worst job experience. <laughs> so I'm gonna lie. So no, but this is terrible. Like I was babysitting this kid for three days, uh -huh. like the entire time, and this kid was like he had issues. Like he's gonna be a serial killer with issues. And this one time he was playing with his hamster, and he was taking his hamster and he was stretching his legs apart until the hamster started screaming. Have you ever heard a hamster scream? It's just this little animal screaming for life. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, what is wrong with you? And I was thought I was gonna die, like he was gonna kill me in my sleep or something like that. Like, I thought he was gonna like, love stab me. Like, I love you! Stab, stab, stab. Love stab sounds like something different. Oh, um, but man. what's crazy is that I didn't know you worked with my younger brother. Oh, really? <laughs> He would torture hamsters as well. I remember I was gone one day and I came home. My mom's like, your hamster's dead. I'm like, my hamster died? I'd only had it for like three days. She's like, yeah, ham put it under a pillow and then uh, body slammed the pillow. <laughs> like he thought, hey, I don't have anyone to body slam around here. Who can I body Hey, hamster, that works. But I mean, I'm not stupid. If I body slam a hamster, it's going to die. So I'll put it under a pillow. <laughs> that will save it. He was 14 when he did this. <laughs> 
Yeah, he was, we were all afraid all growing up that he was just going to murder us all in our sleep because he was just like a sociopath. He, he'd torture other animals and stuff. Let's not give him ideas then. He's not going to hear this because he's gone in Paraguay. Oh, I should have been like, because he's gone. <laughs> if you were a fictional character, who would you be? Really, like... Because you can, you can tackle this two ways. could be who would you, you be, could be or who would yeah. you want to be. Who, who would I want to be, and then who what fictional character is most like me? So I picked um, which fictional character would I be, and I decided that I would really like to be Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, that crossed my mind a couple of times to think about Fitz this. Fitzwilliam Darcy. Yeah. Because... Because... Ladies adore this guy, and he can be a complete it's, jerk. And it's even better than that. It's like girls love him, and the only reason is why he has money and he's a jerk. Yeah. It's like you're approving our case, girls. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, I get to be a jerk, and I get to have money, and I get to have awesome mutton chops, and uh, the chicks dig it. And I, and I make 50 a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Capital, capital. Capital, capital. <laughs> okay, I think... Uh, Peter Venkman, just because I want to be Bill Murray. Ghostbusters is pretty awesome. Why would you pick Peter Venkman? Um, because then you pretty much have to. Um, I like busting ghosts. It makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I like busting ghosts. <laughs> that sounds like something a four-year-old would say. Why do you like doing? Oh, I like busting ghosts. That's cool. How oh, else would you say it? Why didn't you go with like Egon? Because that guy's got some rad hair. He does. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to crush your dream. I know I'm that's... a dream crusher. It's genetic. I got it from my mom. <laughs> She's like, Aaron, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, like, fictional character. I was like, mm, pick a cartoon. Going back to, like, the first episode, I'll pick Beast from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> because Does Aaron get I have a time? castle. I have everything okay. in my house works for me. And I have Bell. So it's pretty much the Darcy complex. He's rich, he doesn't have to work, he can be a jerk, and beautiful women love him. And he's furry. More furry, but furry. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys ever heard of furries? People who dress up in I, furry animal I don't suggest you Google it. Don't Google don't it. Because you will find some pretty disturbing things. Take my word for it that furries are weird. <laughs> dress up as a bear and poop in the woods. Yeah. Like, those dress up people, like people who do like, like uh, they dress up as their favorite anime character and go to things, and, man, that takes a special kind of person, a special kind you of nerd. Like We've probably alienated like a third of our audience, <laughs> but that's all that watches. They this. need to hear this, like they're dressing up as us is what's going to happen. Dude, that would be so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this Halloween, if that happens, I will give you like 10 bucks on the spot. If three people show up dressed up like us, Seriously. you know, don't go overboard with the fat suit, okay? <laughs> no, I'm fat, but don't make it like, because then I'll just give you a punch. The punch <laughs> but he'll still give you ten dollars. They're all punch in the face. hi, yo, we're three guys, three questions, <laughs> and they're just like effeminate and stuff. That suck. <laughs> That's gonna suck being a celebrity and people do impersonations of you and they that make are you obviously terrible. Yeah. And everyone's like, that's so funny. And you're like, I, am I really like that? <laughs> I think it's the point, like, Christopher Walken's is like, I don't really talk like that anymore, but I have to. Yeah, he probably does an impression of himself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's our episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Please share this with other people, because I think our last episode had three views, and I watched it three <laughs> times. So we're going to keep doing <laughs> I this. don't think I even watched it. Yeah. So he didn't even watch it. it. You watched it. So okay. that's a great in ringing endorsement. <laughs> I'll watch it when I get home. <laughs> How's Aaron about putting more pictures on the website other than just himself? Those are the best ones. There's one picture <laughs> of yourself in the about section. I went to the website. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm really going to check that out. He's going to put pictures. It's going to be like stick figures of us or something. I'll do some fun stuff. We'll start. We're, I, I want to start posting things that aren't videos. Um, so... I set up an account for Joe and I set up one for Andrew too, and uh, so we can just start making random blog posts. So uh, get on that website. There's gonna be fun stuff. Email us questions. Uh, as I hawk in the big book, <laughs> email us um, and and give us suggestions for questions. I actually stole my question 
from Eric L. Grefsrud. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that yeah, on there. I did. And uh, that was a fantastic question. So give us some good stuff to ask, because uh, I mean we're really creative, but we like you to feel involved. Um, I mean we don't need you or anything, but help us out a little bit. And so you can email us. Uh, respectively, I am gdub at three guys two questions dot com. Uh, Andrew at three guys two questions dot com. Joe at three guys three questions dot com. And then you can hit us up on the Twitter. What are you, Joe? <coughs> Little Bubba Joe. Little Bubba Joe. Little Bubba Joe. I am a underscore sad. Okay, and I'm the infamous G Dub. So add us on Twitter. Um, we try to say some funny stuff on Twitter. You should have like a ribbon stuck to it. <laughs> that bird had a ribbon? <laughs> yeah, it's still stuck to it, see? What is this, like Snow White? <laughs> I thought it was like, whoa, people are going to start singing and then put ribbons <laughs> <So>. in. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible Snow White thing. I tried to do it. Right anyway, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> that's how we're going to end.